great, right? All right, everybody. Let's go. Spread your feet apart a little bit. Uh, so we got about a shoulder width and a half. Let's go ahead and swing one arm up in the sky. Rotate the hip on that same side forward. This arm comes up, and I push that heel down to the ground. I open that up. Ah, a nice little rotation through my upper body. Rotate my opposite arm back and look at it. Then I'm going to swing that arm down. I'm going to turn my hips the other way. I'm going to push down through that heel. Swing that arm on that side up. And look at the opposite arm that's going back. Little 1970s disco dancing situation here. Push down through that heel. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Idea is to feel some nice openness through this hip, through this shoulder, through this arm. Rotate the spine. Yes. Give yourself a chance to wake everything up, right? Side. And the other side. So here we're stretching and activating. Activating the muscles in the back, stretching the muscles in the front. A generally good idea. Let's go one more time each side. Stretch up and back. Oh, yes. And then the other way. Here we go. Yes, friends. There it is. All right, good. Come back to a shoulder width stance. Let's go ahead and rotate the arms backward. One, two more. They have shoulders rather than rotating the shoulders back. The variation on the old shoulder circle. We're doing them one at a time, allows us to work with a little bit of more curvilinear work there, which is how the body likes to move more curvy than straight. There we go. Let's go up and over this way and this way. This way, and this way, this way, and this way, this way, this way. And now let's go over to the conventional one. Let's take the shoulders back, roll them back. Feel the entire rib cage, the whole rib cage mobilizing the front, the top, the sides. Ah, oh, yes. And let's go the other way. Ribs are one of those oft neglected areas. Yes. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Start to bring a little bit of life into things. Okay, good. Let's stick with the shoulders. Now we're going to do opposite direction arm circles. So if people aren't familiar with that movement, take one arm back behind us, one arm forward in front of us. So a chest, if I've got my right arm back, my chest is facing to my right, right? After that, from there, they take and let, they, they go in nice parallel arcs up overhead and then go right arm forward, left arm back, chest faces to the left. So Connect those four points down, right forward, left, right back, left forward, up, left forward, uh, left back, right forward. Man, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> right back, left forward, up, left back, right forward, down. There we go. It's easier to do than it is to say. All right. So we're opposite, uh, opposite direction arm circles. One more time. And then let's go the other way. So now we go right forward, up, left forward, down, right forward, up. Left forward, down. Keep swinging through that. Again, if you're having trouble, just connect those four cardinal points. All right. All right, good. Now reach both arms up. Let's interlace the hands. Let's point the index fingers up like we're James Bond, right? So go ahead and take the feet together. Point those index fingers up to the sky. Make yourself as long and tall as you can. Take a breath. Reach up like a rocket. And on your breath out, Easy bend to one side. Now you should feel this down as low as your hip on the stretching side. Now breathe in and go the other way. Now, if this is, if this, if you have a hard time breathing when you do this, right, don't go as far. When the breath gets held, it's an indication that your body's like in a kind of slightly panicked space, right? So I want to make sure that when I'm doing this, that I can keep gabbing at you, right? If I go like, eh, and hold my breath, it means I'm just going a little far. And I'm not the greatest side bender in the world. I'm seeing a lot of people on here who can side bend way further than I can. But I'm not going to sweat that. I'm not going to go as far as I can. I'm just going to go nice and easy. All right, good. Let's drop our attention down into the pelvic region. Go ahead and spread your feet apart. Once again, about a shoulder width and a half. Let's take a pelvic region and I still swing around, the merry-go-round. As the pelvis comes forward, give the glutes a little bit of a squeeze, right? So we're coming to light, not with your hands, but with your mind, squeeze the muscles. I suppose you could squeeze your glutes with your hands if you wanted to. No one's going to stop you. That's okay. We're all right here. So 
taking the hips around in that circle. Let's go the other direction. Feel how the heads of the femurs are articulating inside the hip joints. All right, that is good. Now, we had a different, same idea with the pelvis. Bring the feet in a little bit. Now we got the same action, but now we're doing it with bent legs, right? So now we're more doing a salsa dance here. So the hips are going around. Now you get to feel the lower back starting to articulate a, bit, a little bit. And maybe a little bit of mid back and even rib cage, right? Let's go the other direction with a little salsa dance here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so many warm ups are all about like this kind of linear movement. I'm telling you, the body moves in curves. So we have to move, we have to warm up the body in its curvy linear like, movement. Now, let's take the chest. Chest goes forward, chest goes back. I'll show you from the side. Chest goes back, right? So we're rounding back, chest goes forward. Chest goes back, chest goes forward. Just run through that at your own pace. And I emphasize that at your own pace. That's gonna be true of this whole workout, right? So I'm gonna give you guys work periods, yeah? And you might get 30 reps or you might get half a rep. I'm never gonna say, let's do 40 push-ups, right? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to do push-ups and you get as many as you can. Now it's gonna sit side to side with that chest, right? So we're side to side, right? Got this nice little displacement through, right? Working on our hip hop dancing. Good, and now we're gonna connect those four points. We've got the forward, we got the side, we got the back, and we got the side. We got the forward, we got the side, we got the back, and we got the side, right? Take it slow. If this is baffling to you, go slow. Break it down into little pieces, right? Make sure you don't move into pain, right? Let's go the other direction. You don't move into pain, yeah? So you might go, oh goodness, over here at three o'clock, it kind of hurts. So if that, that's the case, you're gonna go a little easier at three o'clock, right? Okay, that's very good, good. So we've done the spine from the pelvis, low back, mid back. Now we got the cervical spine, the neck, right? So drop the ear over to the shoulder. Something I recently discovered, take the opposite shoulder, bring it toward your ear, and then you'll get a little bit more side bend. Go the other way, ear to shoulder. Opposite ear goes to opposite shoulder, right? Right, right, there we are. So I like the whole spine bending at once. Some people isolate. I like the whole spine, treating the spine as integrated unit, which is really what we're doing. All right, good, let's get chin to chest and then chin to sky. Chin to chest. <coughs> Chin's guy. Mm -mm. <clears throat> that always causes me to cough. If you go through all the hundreds of workout videos I've created, every time I do this move, I cough. You could do a montage. All right, good. Now, imaginary, imaginary, imaginary image here. You know, take an imaginary pencil and don't do this with a real pencil. Pencil sticking out the top of your head, right? With the point sticking up to the sky. Draw a circle on the sky with that pencil and you'd be like oh well this is just a head circle kind of yeah but with the pencil image we're thinking up as well as circle right and you'll feel oh the hips are starting to go too that's kind of cool so what we really have is a full spinal rotation here let's go the other way let's enjoy that full spinal rotation in both directions huh nice all right, good, good. Let's drop it on down to the, uh, the hips and the thighs and we will get into our full work anyway. So swing one uh, heel up toward the buttock on that side and give yourself a nice little stretch. Stretch, stretch. Now, not everyone can reach their foot when they do this. In which case, what I would say is just kick up as far as you can and hold it, right? Just for a moment. Don't hold for a long time. We don't wanna do a static stretch before workout. We wanna do a dynamic stretch, meaning in and out of the stretch pretty quickly, yeah? Static stretching can make your body feel like it's in here and go to protect it. All right, good. New similar kind of stretch. We're gonna go into a cradle rock stretch. So one knee comes up, we brace the outside edge of the knee, we flex the foot and we pull that leg up, stretching the glute there on that side. Same thing on the other side, pull and stretch. Ah, this is a great one. This, See the glory of the Lord. <laughs> Stretch out. Hold, 
influence why it's just how it goes all right just about finished through that one stay tall as you work don't go down to get it come bring the leg up to get you all right good we'll work a little hinging here so i'm going to turn to the side to show you what i'm up to my feet are going to be hip width not shoulder width or wider hip width a little narrower pointing more or less forward i'm going to take my arms up and back so my fingertips are against my head, right? My elbows are driving back as far as I can get them. My chest is opening, right? So what that's gonna do is it's gonna extend my back, right? Now I'm gonna bend my legs slightly. I'm gonna keep my back fully extended and I'm gonna fold at the hip joint to come down into a nice stretch of the hamstrings and I'm gonna come up. The idea is not to touch the ground or to get low toward the ground. The idea is to fold at the hips. If this is as far as I can fold without losing that back position, then that's as far down as I go, right? So two things, chest forward, hinging, right? Those two things, chest forward, hinge, right? Chest forward and hinge. Nice job. Last one. All right. Good job. Okay. So let's jump into some jumping jacks, shall we? And then we'll get into... The meat of the workout. So here we go. We're gonna go four counts. Ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, four. Now, not everyone, you know, you might have like knee things or ankle things, in which case I would encourage actually my wife is in there and she's doing like a marching jumping jack. So if you want to if you want to avoid um impact, you can do it like that. Good. I'll finish about five more. One, go a little faster. Two, three, four, and five. All right, folks, good job. Have a drink of water and we'll get into the meat here. I wanna say hi to some people. Here's Angela. Angela is a new person from my, uh, from coming in from my podcast. Thanks for jumping in. But Rodrigo, Rodrigo, hello. Good to see you, sir. Uh, Colin Byrne, Gisela. I, I don't mean to be like, like blow off Colin Byrne. Colin Byrne and Gisela are also awesome. Stephen Schilling. And Matthew, who I've never met, and John Short and Deb Faub. So good to see you folks. All right, so first move we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a couple of dumbbells that we have here, and we're gonna do a movement that resembles very closely what I had you do in the warm up, okay? So a warm up is really a workout, and the workout is really kind of like a warm up. So we're gonna start with your dumbbells right here at shoulder height. You're gonna rotate one way. Right, just like we did in the warm up, we're going to lower that that uh, that back arm. I'm going to press the front arm up and out. Right, come back to the home position, rotate the other way, press. So it's a rotating curl and press here. We're rotating and we're curling and we're pressing. Okay, my wife has stolen, or rather, reappropriated the 10 pound dumbbells that are hers that I was using for a long time. So I've graduated up to 17 and a half. And this is a challenging move with 17 and a half, I have to say. So it's a, it's a different game when you graduate to bigger weights. The idea here is keep reaching up and getting that rotation. Let's keep going. As many reps as you can handle with good form for about another 15 seconds. Keep it nice and smooth. Keep your breath going, okay? This is very good. Yes, yes, yes. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, put those dumbbells away. Next move. Now, this is going to be box optional. Box optional. If you have a box, there, how do you want a box? I hand my box off. There we go. I'm back. So box optional. If you have a box, go ahead and place it at the bottom of your mat. If you do not, no worries. It is not 100% necessary. So. Scooch down so you're close to your box if you got it. Otherwise, just stand your feet on your mat. You're gonna lie down with your body, with your head, and you're gonna push down through the heels. You got your balls of your feet uh, lifted off the box. You're gonna lift the pelvis up as high as you can, getting a nice squeeze through the glutes. So we're activating the glutes as we do that. Then we're gonna lower most of the way down. We still got space back here, most of the way down. I'm gonna step my feet to the outside of my box. And then I'm gonna push again, the hips up. And then I'm gonna alternate between those two positions. Pushing up with the heels on the box and then stepping out 
pushing up the heels off the box. If you're not using a box, you just go like this, push here, and then straighten your legs a little, you know, to about a 30 degree position here, and then raise here. So whether you're using a box or not, continue for about another, let's call it 25 seconds, just running through that. So here we're working the old glutes and hamstrings, two of the biggest, most powerful uh, muscle groups in your body. Also, we've got a little bit of lower body, uh, lower back here, of course, but think mostly about contracting those glutes. Get those glutes online, the biggest muscles in your body, good things are going to happen because they're the powerhouses of your movement, of walking, of running, of jumping, of just moving around through space, right? Those muscles are asleep, you got a big problem, okay? Everything else starts to take over and they don't, everything doesn't work quite as well. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, let's flip it over. We're gonna go into a plank variation here. So plank variation, we got the elbows, we got multiple versions of the plank here, okay? So let's say you're just starting out. You're just starting out and you're just, you're not feeling like you wanna, you know, burn yourself out on our third set. You can go here. So we are on your elbows and your body's a straight line between your knees and your head, okay? Next level is to straighten your body. So I'm, I'm straight line from my heels to my head. Next level, if I wanna walk my feet back a little bit and press my mid back to the sky, that's gonna be a little tougher. And final level, same position, alternating my legs lifting toward the sky. So you have four levels of plank, you can choose your level and work with it for about the next 20 seconds, okay? So, knee plank, straight body plank, straight body plank with the arms extended a little bit, and then straight body plank, arms extended, alternating leg lift. You can always start with a harder version and drop it back to an easier version if you run out of steam. Five more seconds. And stop, okay, great. We're gonna rewind the clock and we'll go all the way back to our alternating curl and press. So take your dumbbells in your hands. Woo, we gotta stand up now. Take your dumbbells in your hands, bring them to shoulder height. Once again, spread your feet apart about a shoulder width and a half. Feel nice and solid here. Press across the body, alternate arm goes down behind you. Repeat, press. So we got a slight, just a little bit. It's not a squat, it's maybe just a little prep move in the middle. Feel as you come down this idea of kind of gathering energy in and then extending it and exploding it up and out, right? So we have load in the middle, explode out to the side. The body likes to work like that. Come in and then out, right? Bringing in, coming out. Almost a dance-like idea of kind of gathering energy and then extending out. And find that extension. Don't just stop with the arms long here. Reach, okay? Explode. Make it um, Find that connection between foot and opposite hand. Let's go for 10 more seconds on this. Yes, good, I'm seeing some strong work there. Adam, Mr. Schilling. Yes, good job. And let's hold it right there. Good, strong work, everybody. Let's come back to the back. Once again, box optional hip extensions. Get yourself on your mat, lie your head down on the floor. We got the feet close in to the butt, right? You got the balls of the feet lifted. Let's go ahead and drive it up. Push the hips up high as you can. Keep the balls of the feet up off the ground. Then step it forward. Once again, when we do this one, you can rotate your feet out a little bit. You'll get an even better contraction through the gluteus. All right, so we're alternating those two positions, getting those hamstrings and glutes really fired up. Let's go 20 more seconds on this move. Make it work. Yes. When, if you're somebody that does a lot of sitting and that's everyone in the universe, basically, not in the universe, but uh, most of the people that are on this call. Um, when you're someone that sits a lot, right? The glutes, they just tend to get a little sleepy, right? So it's, it's really, it can be a life changer when you get those glutes to really fire on. You'll be like, hey, you'll work, work better. You'll stand, you'll stand taller. Lower back pain can go away. It's a really good thing. Five more seconds on this move. I'm going to switch it back to our lovely ab move. Good. So, good. Now, different ab move. Instead of plank, we're going to come on the back, okay? Come on the back. This is the open and close the book. Open and close the book. So many levels on this, okay? One level, we got our legs bent, okay? And we got our head resting on the floor. And the arms are bent. So we can go here, one leg, and the other leg. Next version, 
legs are straight and I'm reaching up toward my feet. One leg and the arms go down, then we come down, come up. One leg and the other, well, opposite arm, opposite leg, and the arms go down, right? And then final version, we come down, we hold it, and we bring it in. That's the full open book. Open book and come in. The key here, keep that lower back stuck to the floor, whatever version you choose. If you can do version three and keep the lower back to the floor, that is very, very challenging. The lower back almost always tends to bow off, okay? So breathe out as you lower your leg or legs and you'll get a better contraction. You keep that lower back close to the ground. Keep it going, 15 seconds. Round two on series one in our workout today. Good Saturday here. Very nice, five seconds to go. Yes, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, excellent work. Let's come back. We got move number one one more time. So third set, we always say best set, right? So we've got our we've got our warmed up. We're, we, we know how to do the move. We're nicely warmed up. We're going to work with some good intensity. We're only going to go for 30 seconds. So that means it's going to be nice and focused. Here we go. We're going to start right now from, from um, home position. Press. Back home. Press. If you're feeling good, go a little faster, right? This is your last shot at this move. So bring a little more intensity, a little more speed into the movement. Now, if you're feeling like, oh, I don't know, I'm a little tweaky, take it slow, right? That's totally cool, all right? But if you're feeling good, lean into a bit. We got about 10 seconds to go. Good job, everybody. This is what, set number seven or so? Something like that. All right, let's stop right there. Good job, okay. Going back to hip extension, James A. W. Heffernan. Coming in, hello, sir. So. Get close to your box if you've got a box. Or you're just close to the end of your mat. Lie it on down. Hip extension. Here we go. Push up. Once you're up there, feel glutes and hamstrings coming to life, right? Even pull your heels towards your upper back. You will get a better contraction through the hamstrings and glutes. Then come here. Squeeze the other way. This is not a move you want to rush, okay? You've got so many muscle fibers in those glutes and hamstrings that you wanna give each rep a little bit more uh, breathing room, right? So this is one, if you're gonna up, up the intensity on this one, up the intensity of the muscular contraction, not so much the speed of the movement. Speed of the movement, meh, you know. There's again, so many, so many muscle fibers here, it takes up a while to get them all fired up. So we're gonna go a little bit longer on this, just go for 15 seconds, raising the hips as high as you can, stay out of the lower back, think about tucking the pelvis under, and you'll get more action in the, uh, the glutes and less action in the lower back, which is what we want. Okay, that's excellent. Let's stop it right there, good job. Okay, third and final ab move of this series. Lie down once again. So on this one, you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna support your head. So the head is just resting nicely in your hands. You're gonna draw one knee to your chest. You can extend the other leg at any angle you want from here all the way to here. And this leg can also be just here. So lots of options. This is the hardest position here. So choose your poison from here to here. Then we're gonna switch the position of the legs. One, three times, one, two, three. And we're gonna hold that third position and then we're gonna repeat. One, two, three, hold. Oh, one, two, three, hold. Now, same thing as in the last exercise. Drive that lower back to the ground. So we're nice and tight Oof, through this stomach. You're almost doing a crunch, right? So that's gonna protect that lower back. It's gonna prevent excessive extension through that lower back, which is one of the major functions of that core. All right, let's keep going through that. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold at your pace for 15 seconds. We're doing very well. Very, very well. All right. Good job. Three and two and one. Very good. Okay, good. Take a pause. Come up to standing, take a breath. Nice job, everybody. Good work. We got about, let's call it 12 more minutes to go. We're gonna get a lot of work done in 12 minutes. You will see. It's gonna be shocking how much work we have. Okay, so next move, what we're gonna do, I highly recommend, when you're doing squats, and you're gonna do a squat variation right now, I highly recommend that you elevate your heels on some surface. I'm using a couple 10 pound plates. You don't have a couple of those lying around. Use a couple of hooks. Use a two by four, use uh, what else? 
any number of things. Uh, yeah, a, a flagstone, whatever you have. So elevate the heels, okay? Now, we're gonna stick with, ah, you know what? I'm, not, I'm actually not gonna mess with that. Let's do this. I'm not gonna wait this. So elevate your heels and let's go one and a half squats, okay? One and a half squats. So what is that? We're gonna come down into our full squat. We're gonna come up halfway, come down again, and come up all the way. That's one rep, okay? So down all the way, up halfway, down all the way, up all the way, okay? Keep going through that. Now, if you're like, oh my gosh, this extra half rep is just destroying me, just do a regular squat, okay? And if a real deep squat is too much for you, hurts your knees, your ankles, your lower back, just make it like a half squat from the top, okay? Any level is welcome here, right? We work with any single level. So don't compare yourself to other people. I'm just giving options here, okay? And by the way, if at any point you're like, whoa, this is too much, take a pause, shake it out, and then resume once again. Let's go for 10 more seconds on this move. Just a regular old squat, man. It is not easy. It is not easy. It's simple. It's not easy. All right. That's good. Nice job. Okay, good. We're going to work. Next move. We're going to work with a little um, a, a bent over row, okay? A RDL into a bent over row. Now, what do I mean by that? Take your dumbbells, okay? So remember how in the, in the warm up we did this hinge, right? Where the back was long, we did it with the arms behind the head, but this is the same idea. The back was long, the chest was out, the bent, legs were bent slightly. We're gonna fold forward, keeping that back super long. Then you're gonna give me two rows, draw those dumbbells up, and then you're gonna come out, of it, right? The whole time you were hinging at your hips. You are not rounding your back over. Think about this as a push my butt back move, not as a fold my torso forward move. Oh, push the butt back. Double row and come on up. So we're rowing the boat and we're drawing the arms or the dumbbells close to the hip pockets here. Not way out here like this, hip pockets, okay? The other thing you wanna watch, don't make it into this. Keep that back long and when you row it up, big chest, okay? Keep going, let's go for 15 more seconds. 15 seconds. Yes, so deep fold, deep fold. You can't go very far. Just bend your legs a little bit more and you'll be able to get down a little bit further. All right, nice job. Double row and then come back up. Three, two, one. That is excellent. Okay, good. A lot of big movements we've done so far. So let's throw in something a little bit simpler and maybe to some people a little bit more fun. I don't know. It is to me. So we're going to do an overhead triceps extension. So what we've got is the single dumbbell. You can also do it with two. You're going to hold the inside of the top plate. Wrap your thumbs around it so we got a very secure hold on that. We're going to go up overhead like so, right? Stand tall, drop the dumbbell back, and really enjoy, oh, yeah, that deep stretch through the triceps and the lats. Then pop it up overhead. Now, long-time listeners can do a little rotation when they do this. So they can rotate to one side and then come up. Then you can rotate to the other side. I would actually... You know, you don't have to be a long time listener. If this move makes sense to you, go ahead and add the rotation. If you're still kind of getting the feel of it, if you got weird feelings in your shoulders or anything like that, just keep it a straight ahead move, all right? The idea, keep the upper arms close into your head. Don't let them drift way out like that. Keep them close and get a good stretch each time. So nice triceps move. Any issues in the lower back, stagger your feet a little bit. So we got a little bit of a this stance like this, right? It's going to take the pressure off. Five more seconds to go. Nice triceps work here. All right. And that's it. Good. We're going to go all the way back to our, to our squat and a half. I have to adjust my thing here. Yeah, squat and a half. So elevate the heels on your books or whatever it is. And let's go. Squat and a half. Take it down. One and a half squats. Think about the pelvis dropping right between the heels. That's kind of where we want it to go. That's the ideal. Now, squats are not easy for everybody, but elevating the heels does typically make things a little bit easier, okay? One and a half squats, keep it going. You want a little bit more of a workout? Don't lock your legs out at the top. Keep them a little bit soft at the top so we keep the pressure on those squats. Down, and then just come right back in, right? We're gonna go for 15 more seconds, just so you know what's coming here. Yes. Good job, everybody. Good job, new folks I haven't seen. Good work, last five seconds. Nice job, okay, good. Coming back to our most technically challenging exercise of the day. 
which is the RDL into the double row, okay? So once again, have your feet standing at hip width. Big, tall chest, right? Bring it out like superhero style, okay? Lengthen the spine. Now keep that nice long spine. Bend your legs a little bit. Push the hips back and stretch the hamstring. Give me two rows right there. And then slowly come up to standing. Repeat, slight bend, fold at the hips, double row. Nice, and continue, just like that. Make sure we're not making it into a linebacker row, right? We're not, we're not on a walker here, not yet. We're here, Whew. draw those shoulder blades back and down, not shrug them up, all right, keep it going. At the bottom of the move, you're stretching out those hamstrings that we worked so hard in the previous series, right? So we're getting a nice deep stretch here. Nice job, everybody. Let's go 10 more seconds. Yep, I'm seeing some really good work out of, uh, out of some folks here. Yeah, Steve Schilling's got a nice, nice row here. Yassel's got a great row. Matthew's killing it. It's awesome to see that. Good. Let's hold it right there. Good job. Let's go back to our overhead tracks extension. Round two. So here we go. Stand tall. I mentioned this in the middle of the last set. We got one leg slightly back, right? That's going to help with, uh, with any lower back pain. So hold that, wrap those hands strongly around that. We don't want to drop the dumbbell on our head. Take it back, stretch it. Oh, yeah, so good. Again, if you are super strong, you can hold on to two dumbbells, right? One thing about these guys is that I don't want to slip and crush my thumbs. That's the important part. So keep your dumbbells close together as you're doing, if you're doing, if you're doing two at once. All right. We're doing great, friends. This is round two of series two. And uh, yeah, we're doing very well. We got one more round on these three moves. Let's go for about eight more seconds. Good job, finishing strong, finishing strong. James A. W. Heffernan crushing it there in Hannah, New Hampshire. Good to see that, good stuff right there. Okay, we're gonna go all the way back. So third set, best set, right? 30 seconds, let's get that squat and a half down with as much speed and intention, but also adherence to form as we can. Ready, start in four seconds, three, Two, one, what do we got? Take it down, pop it up. What do we got with those one and a halfers? What do we got left? Keep crushing it, right? It's just gonna be 30 seconds to be a shorter set. So work it hard, right? Third set, best set. That's your highest um, level of intensity and intention, right? That you can handle. Make sure you're not pushing beyond your limits, right? If you're like, my knee hurts, but my instructor's saying to go hard, respect your body, respect your boundaries. All right, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop it right there. Good, we're gonna transition right back to our RDL into that double row. Yes, so take a moment, take a deep breath. Get your feet in that proper position. Look at them, make sure they're hip width apart. Fold it over, nice long back, long back. Dumbbells are close to the legs. Give me a double row right there. Shoulder, the back's really working, then come back up. Fold it, nice long back, double row. Yeah. And keep running through that. Good job. Got four minutes left in this workout, folks. We are crushing it. Make sure you're folding down to your at least 45 and ideally almost 90 degrees parallel to the ground. That's the ideal with the torso. In order to do that, you got to have a slight bend in the legs, right? You got to fold at the hips. You can't round it over. All right, let's go for eight more seconds, a couple more reps. Good work on this. Yeah, good job, everybody. See him some good intention, intention, good intensity. Good stop right there. One more time, overhead triceps extension. Last one, one or two dumbbells. Here we go. Stand, look at your feet. Are they shoulder width? Are we evenly spaced? Take that dumbbell overhead. Stretch it. Ah, just enjoy that. Come on. And then pop it right overhead, right? Yeah, so every portion of a move, not every portion of a move, but Different portions of the move, they have different responses. Here, so here, this stretch, take advantage of that, right? People are always like, oh, weight training makes you like bound up. No, if you use a full range of motion, if anything, it'll help you be more flexible. All right, we are doing great. Let's go for 10 more seconds on this move and then we'll finish up on a Saturday. Strong Saturday, everybody. Three and two and one, good job. Okay, put that dumbbell away, have a drink of water. Walk around, catch your breath for a second. We're gonna do one more slightly intense thing before we get into stretching. Woo, good job. Okay, so what we're gonna do is a little bit of plyometric jumps, just small, small little ones, okay? We do 10 seconds 
on this fast plyometric jumping. So first version of this, we're gonna go forward and back. So find a line on the ground if, you, if, you're, if you've got one, and otherwise just imagine one. We're gonna jump forward over that line and then back behind the line, forward and back. Do that just a few times, finding an easy kind of rhythm on that, okay? Not too hard. Hopefully everyone can handle that pretty well. And let's go ahead and stop. Shake it out for a second. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing as fast as possible. So quick, 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 quick. Ready? 10 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Good, so quick movements, trying to get as many as you can in that 10 second time period. Forward and back, forward and back. Good job, and stop. All right, nice job. Shake it out for a second. Now we're gonna go lateral plane, left and right. Same idea, left and right. So again, find that line, but now the line is to the right or to the left of your feet. Go ahead and clear the line. Easy movement, easy first time out. Just tell your body what it's all about. A little slaloming and stop. Good job. All right, here we go. Last hard 10 seconds of the day. Side to side jumps as fast as you can, starting in three and two and one. 10 seconds, quick movements. Here we go, right? You got the most athletic thing. We're doing the whole workout, all right? Quick movements, all right? Three, two, one, and stop. All right, nice job. Good, take a little walk around, shake it out a bit. Very solid work, everybody. Thank you for showing up, people, new folks. Uh, Matthew, Rodrigo, uh, I think that's it for the new, oh wait, who's the, oh yes, Angela, Angela, good, good to see her too. So let's do a quick little cool down here. So you're gonna take your arms, and have them rotate. The back of this hand is going to hit the the, uh, the kidney area. So go ahead and swing the arms. Look over the shoulder, and as you do that, let your breath find a nice, easy rhythm. Ha! <sighs> nice, easy rhythm. Let the arms flop. Let the shoulders be completely dropped. Look over the shoulder as you work. Don't go too hard or too fast on this. Just bring yourself right on back to a nice, easy, relaxed place. Let those arms come to rest all by themselves. So we're, they're kind of flopping there. Good job. Now we're gonna bring the feet together. We're gonna take a nice, easy, deep breath. And bring the arms up and bring the palms together. Look up at your palms. Slowly breathe out as you draw the palms right down to the center of your chest and close your eyes just for a moment here. Drop your shoulders. Feel like there's nice warm water cascading down your entire torso. So the shoulders drop. We have this nice column of energy from the heels to the top of the head holding you up. Breathe easy in through the nose and out through the mouth, mouth at your own pace. Take a moment to feel the pulse points between the fingertips. And take all that energy, just express physically outward in your strength and your mobility and your, and your power and feel all that energy drawing into a laser focus. So harnessing all that energy that you can now take into your weekend, to any fun things you're doing, any work things you're doing, any hobby things you're doing, any things with your loved, one, loved ones that you're doing, you express and use this vitality to enhance and improve all those activities you do. Go ahead and take your arms down by your side, step it out, bring the arms down. And I'll say thank you very much for showing up today. Deb and John Short and Matthew and Wolf Tribe Martial Arts, Cicela, Colin Byrne, Rodrigo, James, A.W. Heffernan and Angela, thank you very much for being here. And hope to see everybody, if not on Monday and Wednesday and Friday, and hopefully next Saturday, okay? Take care everybody, have a great, great weekend. Peace out.